So before we go into our debate, let me explain electoral bonds as simply as possible for our viewers. The State Bank of India, under the scheme, issues bonds valued up to rupees 1 crore each. Donors buy these bonds from the State Bank of India. The donors then give these bonds to political parties. The parties encash the bonds. Significantly, only the government, the State Bank of India and the Ministry of Finance will know which donor is giving the bonds to whom. You and I have no idea about who's getting it. Even the opposition parties don't know about it. Which is why I want to raise the questions. Electoral bonds, are they opaque or transparent? Is the electoral bond system shrouded in secrecy? Why should the donor details be hidden? Do electoral bonds hugely favor the ruling party in the country? Joining me now, Syed Zafar Islam, the BJP spokesperson, Trilochan Shastri, Chairman Association for Democratic Reforms, that's taken this matter to the Supreme Court, Anshul Abjit is Congress spokesperson, and Sanjay Hegde, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court. Let me come to you first, Trilochan Shastri, because Professor Shastri, the Association of Democratic Reforms for the longest time has been saying we need to make our election system, particularly funding, more transparent. When the electoral bond system first came in, I didn't see the same objections then as I see today. Is the system flawed? Did we get it wrong? Why is it that today there is this outcry that these electoral bonds are completely opaque and are in a way preventing a level playing field politically? Very good question, Rajdeep, and thanks for raising this issue. Actually, the public, the voting public, should know who is funding the political parties. Mm -hmm. And the electoral bonds do not allow that. Therefore, they are completely opaque, and no other democratic country in the world has this kind of a system. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are not claiming legally that this favors one party or the other. What we are saying is voters have a right to know who is funding whom mm -hmm. and the electoral bond system does not allow that at all. Earlier, when the political parties uh, were forced by the Central Information Commission, they had to declare who is funding them and that information was available in the public domain. Mm -hmm. Now, under the electoral bonds, it's no longer available. It's as simple as that. I mean, I think we are making it too complicated. It's very, very simple. No, so the are you saying, are you saying, Professor Shastri, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, are you saying that you have no problems with the electoral bond system as long as whoever is actually buying those bonds and which party they are given to is made public in some form? It's more about making those payments public? We want transparency on both sides. Mm -hmm. From whom are the uh, uh, parties receiving money, how much are they receiving and who is funding them. So once this is made public, uh, whether it is through the bonds or directly online uh, through the banks, uh, we have no objection. It is the opaqueness and the secrecy mm -hmm. which is a serious problem. Sanjay Hegde? And the, I mean, I just want to take a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Please finish, Professor. One minute I'll take. Uh, uh, yeah. See, uh, the public and the voters need to understand that if we do not know who is funding the political parties, then big money interests mm -hmm. uh, shall fund political parties and then the government policies and various other schemes mm -hmm. will be tailored to help those who are funding them rather than the public. So this is a vitiation of democracy. And this is not allowed in any other country. There are limits. And this foreign funding of political parties is another big problem because the very independence and, uh, you know, that we've struggled so hard. Today we are on the 75th anniversary of independence. If we are going to have foreign funding through some clever uh, legal means, and that is completely against the spirit of freedom that we are celebrating today.